అందరికీ నమస్కారం ఎస్బీఆర్ టాక్ ఛానల్ స్వాగతం చాలామంది పేరెంట్స్ నుండి అపోహ ఏంటంటే చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి ఐఐటి ప్రిపేర్ అవుతే లేదా ఐఐటి బేస్ స్కూల్స్ వేస్తే లేదా టెక్నో ఈ టెక్నో ఒలంపియాడ్ స్కూల్స్ వేస్తే మాత్రమే ఫ్యూచర్లో ఐఐటి వస్తుంది నీట్ వస్తుంది అనేటువంటి అభిప్రాయం ఉంది అట్లని మనము ఒక ప్రత్యేకమైన ప్రిపరేషన్ లేకుండా రెగ్యులర్గా చదువుకుంటూ ఉండలేము ఎందుకంటే కాంపిటీషన్ ఉంది అనేది వాస్తవం సో ఫ్యూచర్లో ఇంటర్మీడియట్ తర్వాత ఉండేటువంటి ముఖ్యమైన ఎంట్రన్స్ ఐఐటి నీట్ ఇట్లాంటి వాటిలో సీట్ రావాలంటే స్కూల్లో తీసుకోవాల్సిన జాగ్రత్తలు ఏంటి అప్ టు టెన్త్ క్లాస్ ఏవి ఫోకస్ పెట్టాలి అంటే ఇటు మంచి అకాడమిక్స్ వండుకుంటేనే లైఫ్ స్కిల్స్ డెవలప్ చేసుకోవడంలో ఎట్లాంటి జాగ్రత్తలు వహించని విషయం మీద ఆల్రెడీ రెగ్యులర్ ఐసిఎస్ఈ స్కూల్ చదివి ఐఐటిలో ఆల్ ఇండియా త్రీ ఫిఫ్టీ ఫైవ్ నైన్ ర్యాంక్ సాధించినటువంటి వ్యక్తి ఐటి ఎలక్ట్రికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ చేసి ప్రస్తుతం మోడలైజ్ డైరెక్టర్గా పనిచేసినటువంటి నితిన్ సార్ తోటి మనం మాట్లాడదాం నమస్తే సార్ నమస్తే సార్ యాక్చువల్లీ ఈ నార్త్ ఇట్ మే నాట్ బి దట్ మచ్ బట్ ఇఫ్ యూ సీన్ తెలంగాణ ఏపి ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ స్టూడెంట్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ టూ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ ఫర్ ఐఐటి ఫౌండేషన్ ఆ నీట్ ఫౌండేషన్ సంహవ్ ఆర్ అదర్ అట్లీస్ట్ మేబీ టెన్ టు ట్వంటీ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆర్ స్టడింగ్ ఇన్ దట్ కోచింగ్ సెంటర్ మోడల్ స్కూల్స్ ఈ మేబీ వాచింగ్ హియర్ అండ్ దేర్ ఎస్ సో అఫ్ కోర్స్ వీ కెనాట్ ఇగ్నోర్ ద ఆస్పిరేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఎ మిడిల్ క్లాస్ పేరెంట్ దట్ హిస్ స్టూడెంట్ హిస్ డాటర్ ఆర్ సన్ షుడ్ గెట్ గుడ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ఆర్ గుడ్ మెడిసిన్ సీట్ వీ కెన్ అండర్స్టాండ్ హిస్ హీ జస్ట్ హిస్ ఎంతూజియాజం బట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ట్రూ దట్ లైఫ్ స్కిల్స్ ఆల్సో యాజ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ యాజ్ ది సీట్స్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ఆర్ మెడిసిన్ ఇన్ కార్పొరేట్ కార్పొరేట్ వరల్డ్ లైఫ్ స్కిల్స్ ఆర్ మోర్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ యూ నో వెరీ వెల్ సో హౌ షుడ్ వీ ప్రిపేర్ ఇన్ ఎ హై స్కూల్ టు గెట్ గుడ్ రిజల్ట్స్ ఇన్ జేఈ ఆర్ నీట్ సో వాట్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ప్రికాషన్స్ సార్ Uh, first of all this is a very good uh, question also mm. and uh, even being an educator i have seen mm. uh, what are the expectation of parent so uh, first sir to answer uh, before i answer this question mm. uh, first thing which i want to tell uh, parents also is nowadays what is happening na sir uh, parents are deciding where my son or daughter will go that is first of all uh, i initial <laughs> it should it is good initial push should be there from parents because students are not aware mm. but as their journey progresses mm. slowly slowly the decision should be leave it to students so sure. not to the parents so now the question is uh, what the students should do for getting uh, chance better success rate in je mains advance or neat sir first of all when let us take a child uh, when maybe child go to the school around at the age of 4 or 5 years of age i feel till class 5th uh, he should be taught moral values about our ancient cultures about he should be free nowadays what is happening parents are not listening to their kids parents are also busy so student is coming then they are he is going for some coaching basketball coaching for sports badminton coaching dance coaching there is there is no time where parents are sitting with their kid and talking so they i first of all till the class 5th my advice is please sit with your kids and talk to them for at least one hour maybe if not talk listen to them they should not feel uh, like the parents are rejecting them mm. then what happens they, they start discussing they are, alone. Uh, they are alone or then they what they do they start discussing those things outside and definitely then the distraction process starts that is one thing then when and they should be allowed for uh, free learning not like uh, this is a formula that no simply how it came this is like that Derivation. we can we can give some practical examples sir yeah for example there is a very simple simple topic in math physics uh, land this or this um, physics chem, maths i will tell simple interest is one topic so they can give live example uh, suppose uh, you have taken from me son this much amount with interest so they can relate better rather than by hiding the formula then when the student comes to class 6th 
then we can say to the student that you should go for like this then they should be conceptual learning sir in terms of academics plus they should not be into academics for more than eight hours mm -hmm. i feel now what is including include, including uh, school, hours. Co school hours school hours school hours sir okay that is more than enough according to me yeah Okay, it should so not nine be... 9 to 5, maximum. Let maximum. us say it is uh, 9 to 5. Or 8 to 4. 8 to 4. Mm. That is, sir, more than enough. Then, looking at the student interest. Mm. Some student uh, may find math interesting, physics interesting, biology interesting, mm. history interesting, as per their interest. Uh, we can have some one-hour extra session. They, we, actually, if the interest is the, for the student, they themselves will decide, I want to study this thing. So, please encourage that. But... As, as a parent, we expect that uh, student should not fail in the subject, should be a topper, right? Sir, all those things are right. It is, uh, I don't say that those things should not be there. But let us not make the student a mark oriented, that you should get these many marks. Uh, it is better when even parents going to PTM to the respective school, please discuss how is my son or daughter doing. Don't discuss only about marks. So the student will feel, okay, I need to understand, not only get the marks, marks is a byproduct. Then, after that, sir, is, is it required that we should enroll in uh, JE Foundation Coaching Institutes mm -hmm. uh, from class 6th onwards or 8th onwards? My answer is strictly no. Mm. It should, they should not go to any coaching, I feel, till class 8th. Mm. They should be, but please choose your school uh, properly, mm. because that is where the students are learning their basic values. How to respect teacher, how to respect parents, how to behave with their colleagues. Those are very important things, sir. So, they should be in a good school where all these values will be taught and everybody is doing their work honestly. For example, sir, let us say I am a school teacher in a school uh, for maths. At least I should make the student understand till board level that concept properly. If possible, can we stretch it a bit far? So, please choose a school where the students will be exposed to optimal academics mm -hmm. not like je academics id je academics not, not required up to 8th or up to high school up to 8th sir let mm -hmm. me i'll come okay uh, till 8th it is not required mm -hmm. but if the students have interest the students is telling i want to learn more yeah then we should increase it should not be parent is increased student go to go for tuitions go yeah, for coaching yeah. that is wrong then once that is done, sir, suppose till class 8, they are free to discuss their doubts and all that with teachers. And uh, the teacher is also you know, answering them properly. Then, sir, 9th, 10th, where they will be going for this 10th class preparation and their journey will start. Then, is it mandatory if my uh, child goal is for JE, IIT, is it mandatory to have foundation? Now, sir, there are two types of foundation. One is, in one type of foundation, the institutes will start teaching 11, 12 concepts in class 9, 10. Especially Telugu areas. Uh, mostly, sir. That is what people do here. Mm. Because parent also is thinking, they will, will you teach IT foundation? What topic you will teach? Actually, parent don't know the topic name also. Mm. But they have, they came, they will come to institute, they will remember some 11, 12 topic chapters name. Mm. They will feel, oh, they are telling those chapters. Sir, I am against teaching 11, 12 chapters in class 8, 9, 10th. Even for a good student also. Even for a good student also. Mm. What I feel, first, if the student is good, sir, you give him first class 8 chapters. Let him do. And if the student is extraordinary, let him do 8 properly. Then let him come to 9th and 10th. Let us not skip anything. That is very important. So, mostly, sir, how many will be extraordinary students, sir, out of 100? Maybe 2. two. Right? Maximum 5. Maximum 5, sir. Remaining 95. So, that habit itself is, it is better if there is some extraordinary student out of 105, put them separate and give them coaching. But because of that coaching, do not, uh, these people should, 95 people should not suffer. Then they will be good for nothing. Parents are thinking, okay, he will not learn 100%, he will learn 30%, it will help. No, his craze for J.E. Advanced, advanced exam will be killed by 10th itself. After, because the student won't understand those chapters, they will try to buy heart. Marks won't come. If the marks won't come by 10th class itself, their craze will go down. 11th, 12th, when it is a real time to prepare for those chapters, they won't prepare wholeheartedly. They'll just prepare to make their parents happy. That mm -hmm. my parents want me to prepare, I'll prepare. But that inner urge, inner strength is gone. Mm -hmm. So, if there's a good foundation, sir, where 
the topic is taught from 9th 10th level class up to depth not uh, till intermediate sorry mm. school board only mm. and there are good teachers who can uh, motivate the kid to learn more uh, by concepts teaching same concept should be learned very extensively extensively way then it is more helpful sir to any student that is what i feel so uh, id foundation have different meaning in a different school yeah. or institute hmm. so if you say id foundation means sir i want to give some extra knowledge to my son for the respective class and if once uh, the faculty have made sure that he have learned enough for class 8 uh, can we go to class 9th in class 8 if they have learned those class 8 chapters he can go to class 9th but i prefer teaching till depth students should know develop the habit of conceptual understanding not by hearting that habit should uh, be gone especially in, uh, if you are talking about neat or mains physics chemistry is mostly uh, conceptual sir maths is purely conceptual biology is bit by hearting so uh, biology also they will have some logic but uh, mostly factual sir so in that way sir what i feel they should be taught to have conceptual understanding automatically their interest will arise and when this is a high time to pick up the pace that is 11th and 12th they will become best now i'll give an example sir uh, our previous students sir uh, there are four students who got rank in top 100 all india rank mm -hmm. sir i'll tell the best rank uh, was i think uh, 12 or 13 then uh, 32 uh, 72 92 sir rank 32 was the student from cbsc student who, who had no foundations okay uh, like he was not into uh, je advanced coaching from class 8th or 10th mm -hmm. it was like some add on support till class 10th he got all India rank 72, sir. He uh, 32, 92. So these kids are doing equally good. Mm. And these people, what what good they did, sir? Actually, they were learning every week for five to six hours those nine, ten chapters in a deeper uh, mm. way. Not only till board CBSC mm. level. That helped them to understand the chapter and their curiosity increased. Mm. Then they could uh, find the chapter interesting in class 11th and 12th. So what I feel. <coughs> foundation is helpful if done in the right way mm. is it necessary no it is not necessary but please choose a good school where everything will be mm. optimal mm, optimal that is see sir you know, many people what they will feel i will leave my child free let him not that is also not good there should be some check yeah that uh, how is the discipline uh, of the all kid? should be very moderate uh, yes because sir simple sir uh, this is uh, one i have seen sir if you give too much freedom to your son at this age, this is not good. there is a time at the age of 30, the son will slap you back. Yeah, That is also possible. So, you know, the kids are not that much mature at that age. Mm. So, there should be a check on them. And now, uh, because of the unlimited access to everything, internet and all that, they can go in any direction. Uh, now, sir, because uh, I think you might have seen the news, sir. These kids are now many involved in criminal things also. Because of no check from the parents and mm. the guardians. So I feel there should be a check. At least parents can decide. Even if parent is not educated, uh, they can uh, decide about, they can simply ask some questions. How are the teachers? What will be taught? And good things are school till class 8. If you are not satisfied, you can change. That is and one thing you are also doing. I must appreciate, sir. You are also counseling the parents, right? You, you have been doing this work for almost like 5-6 years now. So uh, maybe please give them a chance to approach to you if possible and have them a good counselling. Yeah, here we have started this office, same office we are setting. Okay. We are giving offline counselling, free counselling. Okay. They can come and, and talk, they can discuss like that. We are open offline is there. Correct. What we are doing. Because you know, literacy rate also increased in India now. Mm. Uh, many parents are educated, they can decide much better. They have idea, but there are many parents sir, who are farmers, mm. who don't have that idea, who are maybe from rural background. So uh, definitely sir, I would encourage them to approach, uh, maybe mm. you can help them sir, or relative same people. Counseling is very important, sir, right now because true, th true. there are so, so many much of options. And complexity is there. There are so many options, sir. Now, uh, ultimately, sir, now this education is coming out to be a business for most of the most of the institutes. So, but we should also be intelligent to decide where we should invest. Yeah, that is very important. So, I feel uh, counseling is very important part. If you if, if you ask me the question, is foundation necessary? No, I had no foundation till class twelfth. Hmm. I did my coaching after twelfth, sir. But luckily, I had very good teachers who taught me board level physics, chemistry, math, biology. I was an MBIPC student. So, at an optimal level. So, that helped me. Basics were fine. 
I know tables till 20 when I was in class 10th. Mm -hmm. Now, so you, uh, maybe this is to the parents also, you please ask your uh, kids, do they know table till 20 if they're in class 9th or 10th? Not like 18, 1, 18, 18, 36, 18, 7, 126, 18, 5, 90. Like that, you can please ask. So, these things are very important, sir. This basic thing, counting, 20 plus 19, they should not do 9 plus 2, mm -hmm. 11, 1 carry, and class 9, 10th. They should have that mindset to do it directly, orally. So that is what and how it is possible, sir. School teachers can do that, sir. Any school teachers, good teachers can do that. That much is enough. If they have that much understanding, coaching at the right time is fine. Uh, just I will share one funny incident, sir. Uh, one parent came to me, the student in class 6th. His goal is to go for uh, UPSC exam. He want to put his son for UPSC from class 6th. Hmm. UPC exam will be after graduation. Once you graduate, na. <laughs> so there less than 0.1% uh, yes. chance is there to select. So uh, that that is not good. Be what I feel now, because maybe the parent may feel my son will become collector. Very good actually. But there's a right time for everything, sir. Right? You cannot feed 1 kg rice to 5 year old kid. Yeah. 1 kg rice biryani, maybe he can eat when he has grown properly. Hmm. Not at that. So these are not good according to me. This is a right time for everything. If you really feel. J.E. Advanced Coaching, the student is want, interested. 11, 12 is more than enough, sir. Let him have good schooling till class 10th. It should, that is very important. The holistic education. Holistic education, sir. He should know how to speak to elders, mm -hmm. uh, how to respect, have our ancient culture understanding, have a basic IQ. Right? So, these things. Now, uh, maybe, sir, what is a routine? He should not be sleeping at 3 o'clock at, at the age of class, when is class 9th or 10th. Now, you should know what is the benefit of sleeping early, waking up early. Right? Once we are into job, once we are into corporate, we might do that thing. But uh, that should not happen. Now, what is happening, sir? There are many parents working in corporate field. They are working maybe till late night. Their kids are also with them till late night. Then they got a habit of sleeping at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. They are waking up at 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, sir. But school will be at 6. They have to wake up by 6.30, 7. Then what is happening? Parents are also saying, okay, today you take off, no problem. So these are the basic things which we have to instill in our kids, which are very, very important, basic things, which will keep their mind fresh, uh, stress-free, and they will have, they should have curiosity to learn. So when they come at the right age, definitely at that time, uh, they will uh, understand that and grasp it in a much better way. Okay, thank you very much, sir. We had a fantastic discussion. Thank you very much, Bharat Mata